Hi, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can view your images, make non destructive edits, add images, and even share galleries of images all using Lightroom Web in any browser. Now, when might you want to do this? Well, you might be on a trip, or you might be with family or friends, or even with a client, and you don't have your mobile device or your desktop computer in order to show the images that you want to show. Or maybe you want to make changes to the images and you want those changes to synchronize with your master catalog, which is back at home on your desktop computer. Well, now you can be on any computer using a browser and you can log in to lightroom.adobe.com and then sign in using your Adobe ID and you can access all of your collections. So I've already synchronized some collections of images using Lightroom on the desktop. So when I log on, I see all of my collections right here. Now I have another view. I can see all of the photos that I have synchronized. And as we scroll down through these, you can actually see that they're segmented by month. Now if I want to return back to the collections, I can either click on all the collections or target a specific collection by clicking on the collection's name. If I wanted to show this image to someone, I would simply click on it. Then I can use my arrow keys to move from one image to the next. If I wanted to rate or flag the images, I can do so either using the icons in the lower left, or I can use the keyboard shortcut. So P for pick, U for unflag, or X for reject. Or I could tap, say, the 3 key to give this a 3 star rating. If I want to see additional information about the photograph, I can click on the icon on the right hand side and then click Photo Info. If I shared a collection publicly and sent people the link so they could look at these images on their own, I would have the ability to let them download the images when I share that link. And I'll show you that in a moment, but this is where they would come to download them. If they wanted to make comments on a shared collection, they could go here to the activity area and they could like the image and they could make a comment. And any comment or likes that they add, those comments and likes would then be synchronized to Lightroom on the desktop. All right, we'll close this and I'm going to return back to the grid view. You'll notice that next to the name of the collection, there's a gear icon. This is going to allow me to rename the collection. And next to that, there's a little play icon and that would allow me to play a slideshow. Underneath that, I can add photos to this collection. I can organize the collection, which would allow me to move or copy or remove an image from the collection. And here is where I would share this, which we'll do in just a moment. But first, I actually want to add a new collection and I want to add some new photographs that aren't in my master catalog on my main computer back at home. So I'll click to go back to All Collections, click Create Collection, and create a new collection called Trains. I'll choose OK, scroll down to find that collection, and then click the plus in order to add images. I'll navigate and select the images. In this case, you'll notice that they're DNG files, and that tells me that Lightroom Web supports raw file formats. Now, these images are actually being uploaded from this computer into the cloud, and from there, they're going to be synchronized with my master catalog back at home. When they're finished uploading, I can go ahead and click Dismiss. And then if I wanted to change the cover image for my collection, I'll click the three dots, select Choose Cover, and let's choose this image right here. Now, I want to make some edits to these images. So I'll click to go into the collection, scroll down, select an image that I want to make adjustments to, and then click Edit. There are three different options. We can crop, apply presets, or make adjustments. Let's start with presets. If I wasn't sure what kind of look or feel this image should have, I could click to reveal the different presets and then just click on one in order to apply it. I like that vintage look, but let's go ahead and move down to the color presets. Maybe I want to add something, maybe a cooler fade. Instead of having it be so yellow and warm, I could have it nice and cool. Well, this gives me an idea of where I want to go, but in fact, I'm going to undo these edits. And I'm going to start by cropping the image because I've noticed that it's a little bit crooked. I can either use the angle slider right here to straighten, or I can click and drag anywhere outside of the crop marquee. Then I'll move over to adjust. 
If I need to adjust the white balance, I can use the white balance selector and then just click anywhere in my image that I know should be neutral. Then I can make adjustments to the toning. In this case, I know I'm going to need to increase the exposure a little bit. And I want to pull some detail from the highlights, so I'll move that slider to the left. I definitely want to see into the shadows, so I'll move that slider over to the right. Then I'll scoot down and adjust the clarity, just adding a little bit of contrast and a little bit of definition around the edges of objects. I think I might have gone a little too far with exposure, so I'll go ahead and bring that down. That's one of the great things about making non-destructive adjustments using Lightroom Web is you can go in and change your mind as many times as you want. I do want to desaturate the image like the presets did. And if I wanted to go in and make adjustments to specific color ranges, like change their hue, saturation, or luminance, I can do so in the color and black and white. I can even go down and reveal the dehaze command under effects. Increasing the amount of dehaze is going to add a little bit too much contrast for me for this image. So instead, I'm actually going to decrease the amount of dehaze, giving this just a little bit lighter, more ethereal look. When I'm content with the edits, I can click Save and Exit, and Lightroom will upload those changes and synchronize them to Lightroom on the desktop. Then, in order to return back to the collection, I'll click on the X. And now, if I wanted to share this collection, I could click on Share, Share it, and you can see that it creates a link as well as embed code. And I can share this by Facebook, by Twitter, by Google+, or I can just email someone the link. Under the Options area, if I only want to show maybe the best images, the one that I have picked with a flag, I can choose to do that. And here's where you determine whether or not the person that you're sharing the link with can download those photographs. So there you have it, a number of new features in Lightroom Web. I'm personally really excited about the fact that I could be on any computer anywhere, and through a browser I can actually upload files to the cloud. I can make non-destructive changes to my RAW files and have all of those images automatically synchronize with Lightroom on the desktop and my master catalog. I'm really looking forward to watching Lightroom Web evolve. If you have any questions, please post your feedback on the Lightroom forums. I'm Julianne Koss. Thanks for watching.